Welcome to 2023. You should never work a day in hard labor jobs. Let me explain. Have you ever seen one of your family members? Maybe this is your grandfather, maybe this is your father. In their generations, they trade their time and physical effort to earn a salary. With the introduction of AI technology, a lot of the even intellectual work can be replaced by something someone generated as codes. If you really think about this, if an intellectual work can be replaced, how long do you think your job will last if it's a physical job? Everyone's career in the future should be coming from their brain. It should be creative. Every job that generates money will be intellectual. And this is already happening. I'm not talking about 10 years from now. I'm not talking about 5 years from now. I'm talking about now. Artificial intelligence has replaced so many jobs already. Maybe in the future, driver will be replaced. Now that's the last one of those labor jobs. Construction. How long do you think construction workers can keep their work? How long does it take for the labor cost to be too high so then they will be replaced by cheaper machines to do the exact same thing with more efficiency? Just look at the subway system nowadays. The older sub the subway system is, the more likely they require a worker to go repair it. The newer subway system use laser technologies to fine tune where exactly is the point the subway reaches in perfect efficiency. Technology has to move forward. Even if today we just sit down here and then say, oh my God, there's too much technology already in the world and I don't want to create more. It doesn't matter what you think. The mo motion of the society has been moving towards that direction. You're not that powerful a person to change the course of history. You have to adapt to the course of history. You should give up your hard labor job right now if you're working hard labor jobs. I don't even comprehend why would you still be working there. You probably make, let's say like $30 per hour. What if you make $60 per hour for hard labor jobs? Well, some, some jobs make that. How much do the white collar workers earn? On paper, they earn maybe 20 bucks, 25 bucks per hour. Okay, that's pretty low compared to my hard labor job, right? No, they spend almost no effort. They can keep doing the mental work and the mental work is efficient. If they find a smart solution, they can cut down the time by half, by 80%, by 90% in no time. If someone's smart enough, they can outsource their entire job and then still make a profit. That's entirely possible with white collar job, but is it possible for your blue collar job? Can you outsource it to someone that's even a cheaper labor than you? Comprehend this. In the greater scheme of things, if you choose this light path, you will earn knowledge, learn so much skills in this specific area. But what if this area is going to a dead end? Why don't you expand yourself? Why don't you go learn online? There's so many things, so many resources available, make huge life changes that changes the course of your entire life direction. Understand, our technology in the world is accelerated in a curve like this. It's exponential growth, which means today maybe your job is still worth something. Not a lot, not like how much it was 50 years ago, not like how much it was 100 years ago, but your job still worth something. But what if? Let's not say in five years. Next year, will your job be useful? Next year, will something replace your job? Will someone cut down your salary so much that you no longer want that job? It's happening now.